Hey, a quick look at the new Ross Martin, which seems to me kind of a sort of a sourced Erex Delta, which I'm very, very familiar with, having borrowed them and run them pretty hard. I have a lot of videos, the Delta, the Delta Gen 2, etc. Um, but now they're buying parts and making these assembled in Dallas. I kind of like the top of the slide there. Optics ready. Cool U-notch rear, white dot front. In the hand, I don't really like the palm swell. I'm sure it probably has three or four different back straps. But it points super naturally. If I just go extension, if I was point shooting, that is like dead on. So they did do right. Maybe maybe they did do right, even though it feels a little weird to me because I'm used to the deltas. Uh, undercut is comfortable. Memory pad, thank you. Anyone that makes pistols now without a accelerator cut or memory pad sucks. Same CZ P10 pattern magazines, 1517, I'm sure, and longer ones, yes, do function fine. It looks pretty good. More of a flat face looking trigger. Dingus, yes, I've checked, it's empty. Dingus to a straight wall. And there, and a short reset. So there's the Ross Martin. In the first video, I kind of like hopped in the comments and I was mad, like, hey, you're not telling us that this is mostly at least the upper Eric's Delta slide-ish parts and internals. But, uh, you know, it is budget price with nice sights, good trigger, and everything else. Points very naturally, that's good. Uh, let me see about the grip texture. Not enough grip texture for me, and I hate it when my thumb moves here without enough grip texture. That's very slick there. It's okay-ish in the front. Actually, there's a better grip texture in the front than on the side, and a little bit in the back. So the front grip texture seems to be harder. It seems to be good. So anyway, there's the Ross Martin, I guess, being kind of put together, manufactured, sort of, in Dallas, Texas. Send me one to review, because I've done a lot of time on some Eric's Deltas.